So for this week of Geonosis, we are going to be picking up exactly where we left off last time, finishing the other half of the cave. Not only that, but we're also going to be finishing off the terrain, building the last mountain section of Geonosis. So welcome back everybody to week six of building Geonosis, where I feel like this is going to be a breath of fresh air building terrain this week, not working on complex lighting or cave systems or barrier walls. We're just building mountains today. And in fact, this didn't turn out to be a simple week. I was working till one in the morning yesterday, I think nine hours straight, just getting every little detail right on this mountain behind me. So I can't wait for you guys to see all the hard work that I put into Geonosis for this week. So without ado, let's get started. So we're not wasting any time today with Geonosis. I have five new panel sections to be placed here on the front side of the mountain. Now, just like other sections, they're all modular. And as you can see, they all blend together very well and have the same coherent colors that we've been using on other areas. Next up, we're gonna go inside the mountain. So we'll need to take off that giant, very heavy roof, but it's important that it's nice and sturdy. Now I'm not gonna be adding any stalactites today. That'll come in a future segment. So technically the cave won't be fully finished, but it'll be really close. Next up, we're gonna be dropping that wall in on the other side of the cave. And just like the previous wall, it is indeed curved and is the exact same design. So if you wanna check out the design that I used in week five, make sure you go back and look at that. Next, we're gonna be putting in those spires to fill in the area. And as you can see, I'm being very careful about where I'm placing them so that you don't feel too claustrophobic within this cave. I want there to be some spacing, but also some tight corners for Geonosians and flame troopers to, you know, do their thing. With that out of the way, we need to focus here on the entrance of the cave system, where as you can see, there is quite a missing area. So we're gonna be building some rock work and then we're gonna go ahead and tile off the cave. So without further ado, let's go into a time-lapse. So I'm especially proud of the overall blending here. This was a very difficult section to create because don't forget that this is all modular. Everything you see here has to separate. And it's also really important that when they're together, it looks like it's one cohesive area. And I think I did it justice. I'm really, really proud of how this entire area is looking and I can't wait to move on to the next section. There's some great details inside the cave as well, and it just has an overall great look. I'm really happy to say that pretty much the cave is complete. There is some, you know, Lego stalactites that I wanna hang from the ceiling, but that'll come later. It's not important for today. What is important today is that we add a clone trooper that is being taken by the Geonosians because that was obviously missing from week five. I saw you guys talking about that in the comments, so I made sure to add it for this week. I was going to add it, but I was gonna save that for the finale, but. Here you go. It does feel really good to finally complete this cave and not have to worry about it anymore now that all the lights installed, all the spires, the walls, everything is pretty much complete with this. And what does it look like at night or with the LED lights on with the roof covered? Well, as you can see, it looks fantastic. This is the full and complete cave for the most part. And Honestly, I can't ask for a better looking cave. Maybe I could have done a few things differently, but overall, this is exactly what I thought of in my head, and it feels really good to finally have this area fully complete. So I also have an important update to share with you guys. 
Now, four years ago, I graduated with my bachelor's degree in photography and filmmaking. And ever since then, I've been a full-time YouTuber. This has been my full-time job building Lego, which is incredible to say, and I have you guys to thank for it. So thank you so much. This has been an incredible journey. But more recently, I've thought about going back to school. I've kind of missed it a little bit. And so I went ahead and applied for a master's program. I also recently heard that I got accepted and I'm going to be going into that program next month in June, 2023. It's gonna be a master's in mass communications, which kind of makes sense given what I do on YouTube. So I'm really excited to be doing that. Now, the reason why I bring this up is that while I am a full-time YouTuber and that will continue, I'm not gonna be stopping anything there and I'm not gonna be stopping Geonosis either, but please bear with me if episodes get a little further out, if it's a little over a month, a little over a couple weeks, it is gonna be tough balancing everything, but I am doing it. I am gonna try my hardest to finish this mock this summer. In fact, I plan on finishing Geonosis around the week 10, week 11 mark because of how condensed every episode is gonna be. Basically the worst case here is that Geonosis episodes get spaced further apart. Best case is that they stay exactly the way they've been coming out, which is what I'm aiming to do. Now we really haven't talked about minifigures yet in Geonosis, but I am working on a massive Geonosian army. And as you can see here, it's going pretty well. Obviously I need to add a few more wing Geonosians and maybe some more drones, but it's going well. And I can't wait to show you guys the final completed Geonosian army once we get to the finale. Now, while there's no sponsor for this week, I have been working really hard on some pad printed minifigs for you figures, specifically the incredible looking Bad Batch Commander Cody, which looks beautiful in my opinion. And then also we have Cassian and Kino from the prison scene of Andor. All of these figures are still available with limited quantities. So if you wanna help support Geonosis, definitely take a look at those links down in the description. So next we're gonna be working on terrain, building the last mountain section of Geonosis. So it's important that we get this right. Now I've known for a while how I wanted to design this area. It was purposely gonna be different than the rest of Geonosis with a slow downgrade of kind of dirt slash rock. And that's exactly what I'm gonna to try to achieve. So we'll need to pull this section out. And of course, we're gonna go into a time-lapse where you'll see just exactly what my thought process here for a new type of rock work that can be installed on this mountain. So let's backtrack a little bit here. First off, the inner structure is indeed made out of two by four bricks, utilizing them in a lattice pattern that is in order to save on bricks. Then what I'm doing is trying to cover all that with one by one layered plates on top of each other. So one plate at a time from bottom to top. So you might notice that I'm not utilizing any curved Lego pieces. That's intentional because I want this to have like that Lego feeling by utilizing plates, but it still felt off to me. So I went ahead and reached out to Lee Brick Builder Studios. I asked him, man, what am I missing here? And so he said, David, you need to round out the corners. And so I took his advice and did just that. So here is the finished downgrade area on the top side of this mountain. By utilizing the one by one corner curve tile, that solved pretty much all the issues. I also went ahead and did use a few round or curved uh, nougat pieces in order to balance it just a little bit more, but I'm still, as you can see here, keeping the plates to ensure that Lego type of feeling. 
Now, if we take a close look, you will also see that I am utilizing cheese slopes as well as tile, but I made sure not to use like a ton of curved tiles or utilize any curved tiles, just curved bricks in order to flesh out the area. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of the rock terrain to fill in these gaps here. And just like every other part of the mountain, this too is also modular. I'm extremely happy with the way that these sections came out. It was definitely very challenging building this type of area, given that uh, it slopes upwards, it kind of comes to a point at the top, but I created some really cool different sections that perfectly blend in with that downgrade. And I also had to grab an entire other section in order to fully finish out this mountain to add that last panel here on the end. And as you can see, I think the overall blending here is very well done. It's pretty awesome to see the snot technique be utilized with traditional stacked Lego building. I think it's just the right amount of balance here. And this area in particular, these two wedge pieces, the wedge plate and a wedge piece together look fantastic. I think in total, I spent upwards of 30 hours on this one section alone. That's just because I was going back and forth about how to achieve this area. It was a whole new type of building style within Geonosis. We haven't done anything quite like this area before, but I think it's gonna be well worth it. I think it's gonna blend in very well with the other sections that we've built prior. It's also worth pointing out that I was very strategic about how I was utilizing the two color tones here, dark orange and medium nougat, and making sure the balance was just right and creating a natural S looking mountain to the eye. Now let's bring back the jazz music and do a montage of adding this to the bigger Geonosian mock. So while I was really happy with how the section came out, I didn't expect it to look this good in conjunction with the rest of the mock. Honestly, it just feels like the whole thing is coming together. I feel like I've hit pretty much every note of terrain I wanted to do for the mountain areas of Geonosis. Now, obviously we're not fully complete here. There's still areas on the top side that need to be fleshed out, but that's not gonna be too crazy to compare what we were just doing earlier. I think the biggest takeaway about this section is that the blending was well executed. I think the fact that everything blends together and creates a nice cohesive feeling is what brings this whole area together. I'd be lying to you guys if I wasn't saying that I am super pumped for Geonosis. Now that this new section is done, it is really coming together. Like, I am just envisioning the battlefield. I am thinking about all those clone troopers and Geonosians and battle droids and like, I just wish we could get to the finish line, but of course we still have building to do. We still have that droid factory. We still have a bridge, a trench. Obviously we need to complete the ground here. It's still very much a lot of olive green there, but I can see it. I can absolutely see it now. So I'm sure some of you can guess, but yes, next week we are finally going to be doing all this groundwork, completing what is going to be the massive battlefield of Geonosis, which is going to be really epic and just again gets us that much closer. Now we also have this upper section of course on the mountain and I'm not too worried about this. This is just gonna have some hills, maybe some spires. And then lastly, I'm sure you probably saw in the thumbnail but I wanted to add a Republic gunship flying just to give you that feeling of Geonosis and honestly, I couldn't believe that just adding a floating gunship on top of the mountain just, it just makes it that much better. <laughs> 